Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. We've got dry conditions here throughout the overnight hours, mostly clear sky. Tomorrow we'll see a little more cloud cover, but there's also going to be a little more wind. Despite the cloud cover, it's going to be back in the 70s again for highs. Another mild day here on or warm day as we head into Monday. It's going to be windy, slight chance for a shower. Best chance though will be as we get into the Monday night time frame into Tuesday. Now for that wind, it's out of the south tonight about 10 to 15 miles an hour. That south wind at that speed will keep the temperatures a little bit warmer than what we have had the last couple of nights with the exception of last night. We were in the 50s last night, we'll be again in the 50s here tonight. But then as soon as the sun comes up, it is going to be a windy day with winds gusting to maybe as high as 30 or 35 miles an hour. And then that backs off just a little bit, but still pretty breezy as we get into tomorrow night as the storm system gets a little closer. Nothing to worry about here for tonight. Clear sky expected as we get towards morning, a little bit of cloud cover. And we'll have more clouds tomorrow than what we had today, but still going to really be a nice day. As we head into the afternoon, maybe a peak of sunshine or two. Clouds will be around as we head through the overnight hours. And here we are come Monday morning. Uh, maybe a stray shower, but otherwise generally a cloudy start to the day. As we head through the day, lunchtime, Monday, still dry. But as we get into the later part of the afternoon, we'll start to see a few showers off to the west. Maybe a peak of sunshine, but generally clouds expected here during the day on Monday. Monday evening into Monday night, that's when we'll start to see the rain push in across the region. Some of it could be locally heavy with maybe a rumble of thunder during the overnight hours. Tuesday morning is going to be a wet start and by lunchtime it's still going to be wet. And again, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, a possibility. Now, as the storm system moves to the east, it'll shut down a lot of the moisture and then we'll see colder air move in. That should change a little bit of light rain over to some light snow and end pretty quickly. No snowfall accumulation expected here in eastern Iowa out of the storm system. Rainfall amounts, though, half inch, maybe an inch, possibly up to two with the higher amounts farther to the north. If we do get any thunderstorms, then obviously that's the area that's going to be with a little more rainfall. But this is the rainfall amounts. Inch is probably pretty likely across much of eastern Iowa. As for our temperatures tonight, not too bad, especially normal lows close to 30. We'll be in the 50s around here during the day tomorrow. 70s, one more time partly to mostly cloudy sky, and it will be a windy day. Here's a look at your city-by-city city forecast. For Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City, there's a slight chance for a rain shower on Monday. Best chance will be here Monday night into the day on Tuesday. There's your cooler weather on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we're back to sunshine, but it's going to be closer to normal when it comes to our temperatures. Your 10-day forecast does include sunshine here on Wednesday with highs in the 40s. We'll stay in the 40s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. Small chance for a shower both of those days, and we'll stay in the 40s, which will be normal by then for highs and overnight lows, 20s and low 30s.